A lot of people ask us, uh, when do I need to replace my nibs? How do I know my nibs need replacing? Well, um, we'll show you a couple key things that are good indicators that it's probably time to replace your nibs. If you did get the deluxe set, um, you might have got some bonus nibs with that as well, but you can always order them from our store anytime. Just go to chameleonpens.com and click shop and it'll take you where you need to go depending on where you live on in the world. Um, so every one of these nibs are replaceable. So you can replace the bullet nib, the brush nib, and the mixing chamber nib. I will say that the bullet nib is pretty durable. We'll show you how to replace that. Um, but I doubt you're really going to have to replace it very often. This is the one, the workhorse, you're going to use for very rough surfaces. The mixing chamber nib, the only time you're really going to replace that one is if you happen to be spending a lot of time fusing the wrong way um, or leaving it engaged in a fused position and you have damaged your mixing chamber nib. Most of the times, other than that, you probably don't need to replace your mixing chamber nib, although I will cover that for you. Uh, the brush nib, again, is a super soft Japanese brush tip, and that one is a little bit more delicate. So at times it takes a little bit of practice to get used to it. Um, when you first get your pens home, if you look in the instructions, it's going to tell you a little bit about what a brand new nib feels like and then a broken in nib feels like. It's covered with a little protective laminate, so when you first get it home, it might feel a little bit hard or scratchy, um, just for the first couple of strokes, and then you're gonna slowly break it in, and it'll come kind of a little bit at the end, almost like a little splayed like a brush, so it becomes a little bit softer. Now, what I did here was I actually really uh, overworked this nib, just uh, to show you in some cases, uh, if you happen to mash it a lot or you've just been using it a ton and it just got really kind of all muffed up. You can see that. One of the key indicators you'll know that you need to replace that brush tip is that if it actually does not fuse anymore. So what happens is it's not really touching very well so the wicking action of the tony medium going into the nib won't happen so that's a sure-fired way of knowing it this one's still doing it even though i well not so well so i can tell right off that this this is basically not fusing anymore it's not meeting so and this is you know the chambers pushed all the way down and there's still a tiny little gap because I've really mushed that down there so what you want to do in this case is you want to be able to replace your nib also it gets a little bit too um, sort of splayed it still feels really nice to color with mind you it feels like a nice soft super soft paintbrush but um, it's not really going to work very well in the fusing position so if that's the case you can take a pair of tweezers any pair of tweezers will do. I like the ones that we have because they've got this nice little grips on the side. And I just reach in and I just give it a grip and I just give it a light twist and pull that out. And that takes my nib out. And then you're just gonna dispose of that and then put in your new nib. Now, hold it actually on the collar side of it. You don't wanna be touching that super soft brush tip. And you wanna be able to just lightly sort of tamp it down on that little ridge that's along there. Again, we're not touching or gripping on that, that very fine part there. You don't want to be gripping on that. You want to be sort of using the shoulder of the nib to push it down. And it should fit down nice and snug. Now that you've done that, we're just going to test and make sure that it's seated all the way. And the way you're going to do that is put it into the mixing chamber and just make sure that it touches to the nib and doesn't mash against it. And it should be able to just click. So that's touching nicely. It's gonna take um, a few minutes for it to um, take the ink all the way down. So I just turn that upside down and I just usually stick it inside of a little cup uh, until it absorbs the ink all the way down. And that way you've got yourself a nice brand new nib. Mm -hmm.